Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan uh, from Milky Way Art Design. So here's a piece I did on my video number 190 or 191, I don't exactly recall. Um, anyway, so I was practicing my Dutch pour during that time and by this time when I did this, I was getting good at it and I'm really proud of this piece and like composition wise, but when you look at this piece no one will know that i did it because every painting that i do i have to have some of my personal touch in my work this is basically to me a good dutch pour but it's not my dutch pour because that i don't there's nothing here which is too personal to me i just wanted to master the tra technique and i did pretty decent job on this one so and I did a real, really good job with the composition as well. So I'm happy. However, I need to put or I want to put some my personal touch in this. So what I'm going to do is I am going to use the dry bloom technique that you have seen before. I have I did um, like in two, two, three of my videos. When I do those and they dry, then I resin them. The, those paintings gives like beautiful three-dimensional look. Unfortunately, don't have any of these those with me because all of them got sold and everyone is like beyond happy with the results that they got or they, they saw. Like honestly, the painting, the, the picture does not do those painting any justice. So I, stop talking and I will show you what I do with these so let's look at the composition first I love 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 this area I'm not touching anything and the gradient of colors oh, to die for here same and the way the golds and the greens lay over each other here is phenomenal probably I can hide some of these gold here but at the same time, I like the composition here of the whites coming here, the purples going there. So lavender, not purple. So probably I'll do a flower here and from there we'll decide what else do we want to do. So let's start. To start the process, I will start with a flower. And this is basically Arts Minds Knockout. It's a lighter color, which is a shimmery color. And I will start with this beautiful color. Uh, this is one of my all-time all favorite. And when I do these uh, dry blooms, I just so you know, the whole surface is dry. I'm just putting on color on top of the uh, dry surface. There's nothing on this surface other than dried paint. So I start with a lighter color center and from there I would layer some darker colors. So this one is um, Deja Vu from TLP. Look at the way I am layering my color. I'm just making a circular motion surrounding the lighter color on top of that i am going to use uh, this color is called let me see pink lemonade and this is from color art this one has a lot of bling to this color so i am very excited to use this color This one is Bleeding Heart. So that's my layer of colors. Then on top of it, I'm going to use a tiny tad bit of gold. 
because who doesn't like gold just kidding I love gold and on top of that we'll have our black cell activator someone's at the door so let's start and let's zoom in a bit so we'll start with one petal at a time i'm using this straw this is a standard size straw i'm going to blow with my mouth So as it's spreading, you will see when it dries and I resin it, it'll be, uh, it'll give a three-dimensional look because the flower would be um, protruding from the surface. So on the other side, I go and guess what? Since it's a dry bloom, there's nothing to crack. So that's the best part. I want to make five petals so I did one dag kind of in the corner now I want to do two on this side and one on this side last pedal look at this one how pretty this is so now what i'm going to do is take a kebab skewer and kind of gather the beans inside as I'm gathering I'm making sure I don't go all the way down because I don't know I think it will be prettier that way One thing I want you to notice, I have used many hues of pink and oranges and that's why the flower looks so gorgeous because they are all meddling with each other. So this is my first flower. Now, I am thinking I'm going to put another flower here, but I'm going to wait because I want this one to dry to put the next one. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. We are back. This side it's dried where the flowers are going to overlap, but at the center it's still wet. I'm not going to touch in the center. I'm going to work on the sides. So um, it should be okay. So here's the composition. And it looks really bad with one flower at the center. So I'm thinking I should put another one. What do you think? What should I do? So as I'm looking, I think... I don't want to put something here because I like this negative space. Uh, here, nothing exciting going on. So probably I should do one here. And another one here maybe. I don't know. Yeah, let's do here, then we'll figure it out. I'm going to go for a lighter.
color palette and we are going to do the flower center here like before starting with the light color Sokai After Sokai probably I will go Deja Vu The colors that I'm picking I'm just trying to make sure that adjacent colors or flowers are um, distinct from each other Okay. I wish I could define these two flowers more, but it is what it is. So these are the two flowers again let me show you the entire composition I have two flowers of course I need more no way I can stop here right so why should be my next one here here and one here probably a half flower here 
and a full flower there or maybe two half flowers but I don't know if I can make a half flower okay let's experiment if we can make a half flower I hope I don't ruin it so let's do a flower here and a flower there maybe half flower I'll try a half flower I, just, I don't know if I can make it this is my first try for a half flower if it doesn't work out my painting doesn't get I hope I don't ruin my painting Theoretically, I should have a half circle to make half flower. That's how I am going because I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's put some fireworks. From color, color art. Some purple. You know what? I'm missing my ganache. I should use my ganache, but I don't know where I left, left my pigments or all my pigment stashes because after the wedding i have to reorganize the house and everything so I, everything is hidden tucked away somewhere stored and uh, until i find them i cannot do anything about them so let's see So probably I should do four petals, one that direction, this, this, and that, and this one is not there. So let's try that. Um, let's try this first. Okay, why is it doing this? Gosh, this is what I have. Does it look like half circle? Okay, I am going to go with um, gloves and wipe some. So I go back with a finger. I'm slightly scooping some of the paint from the side. I don't ruin everything in the process. Okay, so let's use the skewer. Okay. It works. 
Now I'm going to make another one on this side. I hope I'm not ruining it. Oops. The idea of a half circle. Then going for deja vu, which is more purple. Fireworks from color art. Pink lemonade. Okay. Time to add gold and black. So I am turning my thing because I have to blow everything on that direction. Okay, let's see. Next flower. Oops. Next flower. I actually meant next flower petal. Okay, I will stop. That one is really lovely. And the last one. Now these are my four flowers. I am going to scoop up some extra. See, this is the one I scraped. Some more. Now, I see that I scraped more than I needed to. So this is what I have. Let me show you the entire composition. You have to tell me what you think. I think as far as flower goes, I'm okay. I don't need any more, right? Let me know what do you think. If you want me to add more, I will add more because once it dry, I can make another one since it's dry bloom so i will stop here for now thank you for watching today and 
I will probably end up adding some embellishments once it's dried. Let's see once it dries how it turns out and I'll show you the dry result. Thank you. Bye. This is up close and look at the shine and the shimmers and the definition of the flowers. Once I resin it, it will give, give this 3D look to the flowers and it will be so amazing. And those little itty bitty cells at the center of each flower, golden cells. They are so pretty. I hope you liked this video. And if you like my videos, please like, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.